You ready? Thank you for joining us today at My Econ. Welcome. My name is Alvin Curry. My Econ, the personal financial success company. What is personal financial success? Personal financial success at My Econ is having income for life. Income for life can be different for each of us. However, all of us have an amount that we agree that we would like to, we need to live and maintain the quality of lifestyle we desire. In our example today, we're using $75,000 per year as an income amount we're using as an example. Now, you go out, you must earn that money one of two ways. During our working years, we go out and about 90% of the population get what's called a job. They're going to be paid on a monthly basis or semi-monthly basis. They're going to earn about $6,250 per month. Because they're working on a job, they're going to have somewhere between 20 and 30% of their money come out for federal, state, and Social Security taxes. Today, we're using 25%. We're saying 6250 minus 1550 is going to give you a net income of $4,700. If you go out and get that as a business owner, people who maybe sell insurance or real estate people, they get 1099. No taxes come out of their check. So they earn the 6250 as net income. Now, when you're retired, you must have enough money set aside in income producing assets that will allow you to maintain that quality of lifestyle. If we would save 10% of our income during our working years, by the time we retire, we would have somewhere between $750,000 to as much as $1.5 million in retirement income. That allows us to maintain our quality of lifestyle. Now, that is what my econ called personal financial success. So why do we do this? Well, based upon statistics from the U.S. Census Bureau, 95% of the people in this country failed to get that done. Let's take a look at it. Out of every 100 people who start work by the age of 25 and retire 40 years later at age 65, 29 of those people are dead, 63 of those people are living on Social Security, Medicare, family and friends, or charity. 3% of those people are still working. Only 4% of the people have adequate capital set aside for retirement, and 1% is wealthy. So that means the top 2% one in four is five percent of the people so only five percent of the people make it in this country what that did for me when i saw that number it transformed my life because it said i was going to be in one of the other statistics not the top two so what statistics are you going to be in are you going to be in the 63 percent or are you going to be in the three percent still trying to work or will you be in the four of the one see it's really your choice god has blessed you to make lots of income if you worked 40 years and had a measure of good health and a job. So why did you not have it? I believe it's because of the taxes that was taken out of your check and then of course you did not have enough money to save adequate income. So at my econ, what we help you understand is this, 47% of the people in this country do not pay any federal income taxes. I want you to imagine your paycheck if you had no federal income taxes taken out. Would that help you to save more money? Would that help you to do different things? Let's take a look at this. Uh, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, again, uh, according to the IRS here, again, 47% of the people pay no taxes. If you earn less than $50,000 a year, you have 63,500,000 people pay no taxes. If you earn between $50,000 and $100,000 a year, you have 5,700,000 people that pay no taxes. If you earn between $100,000 and $500,000, you have 736,000 people that pay no federal income taxes. $500,000 to $1,017,000 and over a million dollars, 6,000 people. That's 71 million people that pay no federal income taxes. So I want you to look at your W-2. I want you to look at your pay stub and see how much federal income taxes are they taking out of your paycheck on a per payment basis and on a yearly basis. And then I want you to envision if you had that money in your paycheck, what could you do differently? At my econ, we suggest that you do three different, one of three different things or even all three of them. One thing you can do is if you're not currently doing it, is you can pay more in tithes and offerings. I believe that you ought to give to some organization. I bless God and I give in tithes and offerings. Number two, you could, you could save more and build an adequate retirement. 
Or number three, you could pay off debt and then when you retire, if you had no debt, your income will go further. Let's examine these three choices.